Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Black Bear Hunter coming at you again, and we're here to talk about uh, another stout um, from the Artisans Craft Beer Company out of Vent Hill, VA, aka Star Hill out of Crozet. Um, and uh, the name of the beer is Craft Explorers um, Coconut Imperial Stout. Um, this beer comes in at 10% ABV. Um, and it's made exclusively for Lytle supermarkets. So if you have been following my, you know, my posts, um, you already know about the other beer that, the other two beers actually that I found at Lytle, which is very interesting that they were made at Lytle or that they're made exclusively for Lytle. But um, yeah, you know, the other was just a basic Imperial style. Uh, I tried the dark ale. I'm looking for and hoping to find the coconut, uh, not the coconut, the coffee stout. And so, yeah, you know, I was, I'm excited to actually try this beer out. Um, <clears throat> so with that being said, uh, this should be a, a shorter video. Uh, we're going to get just right to it and taste it. I've been sitting around waiting to taste this for a while. Um, and so, uh, yeah, you know, uh, I'm kind of curious, you know, uh, they are actually building the Lytle here in, well, actually in Maryland, which is not too far from me. I'm located in DC. So, um, yeah, they're building the Lytle pretty close. They have one over in Virginia. I'm going to check them out. The one that I ran across was in Richmond. I was actually down there trying to hook up with some, some of the gingerbread stout from out of Hardywood. Um, yeah, you know, they got the pretty cool glass that's actually really sick i've been looking for one shape like this and design like this for a while stemless um nice shape i think these are usually uh designed for brandies but for a nice dark stout uh these are amazing for a stout it's, it's amazing so uh yeah with that being said let's do our favorite thing and pull out the bottle opener and crack it look at that nice packing they did a good job removing all the air not too much coconut, like as soon as you bust it open, you know, um, but that's not a big deal. We just worrying about what it tastes like at the, uh, the finish, uh, the finish and end result. So let's get a nice little pour here. Oh, I didn't think the head was going to actually push over, uh, was going to spill over on me, but got that nice two finger head. Um, it's a lot of action going on there. Um, nice. Uh, so in the presentation, it's nice and dark. Um, I can't say anything about lacing yet cause I can't really roll it around, but I tell you what, it's, it's pretty creamy looking. Um, the head's pretty creamy looking. Um, eh. it's not receding too much. Like, so, you know, once you pour it, the head's not receding much at all. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be pretty much like the other one. It's a pretty easy drink. And um, like I said, really creamy, really delicious. Um, a nice sipper at the end of the day. And I mean, for $3, how could you go wrong? $3 for an Imperial Stout uh, made by a reputable, um, you know, reputable brewer. Um, not much else to talk about. I mean, you know... Um, it's a good trade-off. I mean, there's a couple beers out there that, you know, you expect it to be great and um, they sell it as if it's a great beer and then you get a hold of it and, oh man, it sucks. So, <laughs> so in this case, you know, you get a little bit more for your dollar. You get a nice, just above average stout. I would say just above an average being a uh, you know, a little conservative on my thought, but every time I walk into that store, I know I'll grab, um, the, the regular, this version, the coconut version and the coffee version. And of course that dark ale, that's, that'd be a normal part of my trip. Um, cause I could say I'm like three, four, three, four packs in, uh, working on four. So <laughs> at the end of the day, yeah, uh, they're, uh, like I said, how can you pass up an inexpensive style? So 
now here we are uh the stout has actually you know the heads calmed down a bit uh we get a look at the lace and it looks like uh it's pretty like a nice medium well it's actually a pretty good with the lace in. and like i said it's, it's pretty creamy um you know and the little sip i took you know it's nice and uh semi-sweet i guess from the dark dark chocolate but let's let's actually um take a taste and see how that uh see what we think about it so uh with that being said cheers youtube Oh. Oh. Okay. That's got to be real coconut. It's subtle, really subtle, but really good. Like you can actually outright taste the coconut, but it's really subtle. Um, semi-sweet dark chocolate. Um, you know you get that semi-sweet chocolate a little better, but um. Wow, hold on a sec here. Let me. I mean, it's not much aroma given off for the coconut. Um, I mean, you can smell the dark chocolate, um, maybe a little bit of coffee, but you know, it's not giving off a ton of aroma, and it's uh, it's pretty chilled, so it's not going to be that aromatic yet. But at the end of the day. It's really smooth. It's really roasty. Like it's it's definitely really roasty. You get that coconut, that smooth coconut delivery. Um, you, like a little malty, but not too malty. Like it's really balanced. A um, little bit of molasses, a little licorice. Um, you know, that add to that nice dark flavor. But like I said, it's not too bitter. It's not too sweet. It's right in the middle. A really great sipper. I'm going to destroy this beer. Um, that's all I really got to say about it. Um, you know, medium body. Uh, good, like I said, you saw a good lace and um, velvety. Definitely lingers on the tongue like I, I see here and I can taste the coffee. I can taste the coconut um, Yeah, I mean it, What else to say about it inexpensive not no real overwhelming flavors, but I mean like I said the dark chocolate and Coffee works well together with that nice touch of coconut um, It's not overwhelming. It's like it doesn't even taste like fake coconut. I hate fake coconut um but it doesn't taste fake. Um, it might be using the artificial coconut flavoring, but if they are, I'd be surprised. Um, and, and like I said, it's just so easy to drink because of that combination. <laughs> Three dollars. I love it. Um, so at the end of the day, uh, if I had to rate this beer or untapped, I know it was like rated like I think it was like a three nine or three eight or untapped. I easily would rate it a four point oh just because. Um, I'd love to just they say that you can only age it. I think uh, I think it was saying like uh, best before. Yeah, June 2019. This thing probably is sitting my <laughs> sitting my cellar for like, oh, man, I'd probably sit it for a year and see how it tastes in a year. I'm not even scared of that Best Buy date on on the stout. Why should you be? But uh, yeah, YouTube, I'm going to crush this. I'll come back again with another beer. Um, actually, I have a few that I ran across in another supermarket. Actually, an old school deli here um, in Maryland. If you notice, I'm trying to stay local and talk mostly about the local beers. Of course, I'll grab a few exceptional beers from outside the area. I'm always looking for beers outside the area, but I'm saving that for when I travel. So at the end of the day, um, this is a local travel um, and uh, yeah, you'll hear more from me. So cheers, YouTube. Talk to you later. Got to go. I got to crush this beer. We'll talk.